Six now, we are hearing from the family of a teenager who was riding a bike when he was run over and killed by an FHB trooper. The teen's family is desperate for answers as to what happened that tragic night. Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez was right there when the family made an emotional plea. The family wants its own investigation into this accident. They want to know with certainty that this trooper wasn't distracted, wasn't speeding, and that at least tried to avoid hitting their son. A family mourning their son hired an attorney Tuesday in hopes of making sure the investigation into his death is a thorough one. Norberto Lopez described his son Angel as a kindred spirit. He's uh, an amazing kid, amazing young man. He, uh, he was more than just my son, he was my best friend. Surveillance video captured the teen on the upper right side of your screen crossing Killian Parkway near Southwest 108th Avenue Friday night. Lopez narrowly escapes one car only to be hit by another. In the video, the driver, a state trooper in a marked cruiser, returns to check on Lopez who lay dead. As far as how fast he was going, we don't know yet. Um, those are things we're going to obviously explore. Um, those are things that might also come from evidence from within the vehicle that we will um, undoubtedly get. Lopez, a junior at Miami Killian High, was in the school's JROTC program. According to his friends, he was well-liked and respected on campus, admired for wanting to join the Air Force someday like his parents. He's there for everybody. He was always there for everybody. Even people he maybe didn't even get along with. The teen's family expressed concerns about FHP handling the investigation, including whether the trooper was distracted, speeding, or on his cell phone. We're going to do our own on our end to make sure that every I is dotted, every T is crossed, and we're going to we're going to get to the bottom of everything that happened. The highway patrol says that the trooper was not responding to a call that night, and that they will look into every aspect of his actions leading up to that crash. The trooper, we're told, is still on duty, however, is taking some personal time off. Uh, Lopez's friends plan to have a vigil near the high school Thursday night. We're live in Kendall. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.